Hello guys, Smith Deck here, and um, this is a review of the brand new cruiser that we've just got in Star Trek Online. Um, it's just been released from the featured Season 8 episode, which was released on the 31st. 30, 30th? 30th? Yeah, one of them. <laughs> so, um, basically this is just going to be a PvP between myself and a fleet member in the Wolverine's fleet, Captain Boom and uh, well, Kavik, his in-game name is, and his YouTube name is Captain Boom. I'm currently joined by him right now, so um, Captain Boom, can you introduce yourself? Hey, this is Captain Boom, and uh, I'm going to uh, be PvP in the Smith deck, and just see how it goes, and uh, be giving a little bit of background on my setup, and uh, just to show you to see how, show people how the carrier performs. Okay, so before we go anywhere, uh, let's just um, get into some action here with the cruisers and um, we will talk about our channels. So um, I'm quite curious to know what kind of stuff you do on your channel, to be fair. Well, I uh, do some first person shooter reviews and do different weapon setups on that. I do Star Trek Online videos and uh, Need for Speed videos and just uh, pretty much any type of game I want to be able to do it and help people out with it. Okay, well, that sounds pretty interesting. Um, so, what you do basically first person shooters, right? Yeah, that's my uh, base right now. Fair enough. Um, that's, that's pretty interesting in a different format to what I do because I do kind of like let's plays and um, things like that, random episodes in Star Trek Online. I've done a few uh, fleet stuff. I'm going to be producing a lot more recent, well, next so they're going to be coming up pretty soon um i can't find you right now where are you <laughs> oh i was still studying at the trans warp gateway oh thanks <laughs> right yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle so you should come over here and we'll test out to see how powerful the, the ships are yep and uh, just for the record i've never pvp'd you before so i don't know what to expect of your play style and same here same here so I'm using basically the Mark 12 fleet weapons with uh, assimilated and macro shields with the brand new uh, obsolete uh, subspace rift warp core. I've got a few field generators and uh, I'm using the basic hangers that you get with the ship. Uh, okay, so I'm using uh, the, uh, I believe it's pronounced Aegeus set so that you get uh, from the Mirasop division of a fleet. Oh, the Aegis set, that was a very good purchase on your end. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about it, and I decided to give it a try. Fair enough. Now, I'm, I'm noticing that with your ship right now, you're kind of taking my shields down, but not my hull? Yeah, I don't know why. I, my, I, I, don't, I don't understand that, but... Uh... It's a, it's it maybe because of your power setting levels, and you just got me with a rift. Thanks for that. Wow, this is like a bloodbath. Look at it. Yep. And I found an asteroid. <laughs> so I uh, buffed you a little bit. Wow, oh, wow. I can't see pretty much. I'm inside an asteroid. <laughs> uh, that's funny. In my first, I believe it was in my first uh, Star Trek Online video, I crashed a Constitution into an asteroid and it didn't blow up, and my, I myself was actually startled by that, because I thought I was going to die or something. Yeah, I, I would like to see them actually take... wow, lag. I would like to see them to take... I killed you. Yeah. You died. Yeah, I, my shields just gave out all my shield facings did, and, and then my new, I only have Mark 10 consoles. But the fleet ones anyway, so they're better than the, even the very rare Mark 12 exchange consoles. So, so that would make a kind of a difference, really, um, in your game style. So I'm just going to go through a quick bit of the stats, and we'll jump into another round. All right. Okay, so um, the crew complement on this awesome ship that you get is 3000 and that's quite good for a ship in this standard uh, obviously you get two hangers 
hanger slots, which you can fill with any hanger in the game as long as it's for your faction. Um, you've got your tactical consoles, you've got two. Your science consoles, three. Engineering, four. You've got three four weapons and three aft weapons. And obviously, you have the four device slots as it's a cruiser. Um, the defense stats, my defense stats with what I've got at the moment. Now, this changes for everyone else, so I'm actually going to say mine and then I'm going to ask you to go through yours. Alright. Okay, so the bonus defense is minus 5% on this ship. The hull is 61,331. The hull repair rate is averaging from a 150 to about 190%-ish per minute. Uh, the shield regeneration is 150.6 every 6 seconds, and for all shields facing sh uh, is 15,598. I have a lot of resists, 47 to basically most of them, 42 to kinetic, uh, polaron is 26 and antiproton is 26. The attack is pretty standard, bonus accuracy 5.5% uh, percent crit chance and crit severity at 50%. So, um, I'm quite curious to know what this ship actually stats out with lower equipment, to be fair. Well, right now I'm using, uh, like I said, the Aegis set and Mark 10 fleet engineering consoles that do have very rare, excuse me, rare science field generators. So, my bonus defense is 15%, my hull is 56,552. My crew, I think, is, well, yeah, my crew is going to be the same as yours when it finally regenerates up. It's about 2,300 right now. And my shield facings are 11,208. Shield regeneration rate is 131.2 uh, per, sec per six seconds. And I have 42.3% kinetic resist, 46.1% uh, phaser, disruptor, plasma, at uh, resist, and then I have 45.7, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, Tetrion? Tetrion, yep. Tetrion, and I have a 46.1 Polaron resist and 46.1 Antiproton resist. That's that's pretty good. You've got more Antiproton resist than I have. Yeah. So, I've um, the I'm nice going to, sorry. What, what we should do now is run straight back into each other, um, make sure all of your hangers are out ready to attack first, and then we'll do all of our tactical abilities at once. Tactical what? All of the attack tactical abilities. Oh, okay. All at once. All right. Um, I switched around my power settings because I had originally had all of pretty much full weapons power because I was PvPing somebody else yesterday and that was their weakness. They didn't have good shields. So now I'm switching it over to a defense setup with full shield power, but with bonuses I still get 68 weapons power. I'm running at full weapons and half shields, and um, I've had my engines and my auxiliary quite low. Yeah, I have had my engines as far as it'll go, and uh, I have an auxiliary power, because I do, this is nice because you get a lieutenant commander science slot here. So I'm running Viral Matrix 1. Viral Matrix 1. I'm actually, I actually have Viral Matrix um, 1 as well. So ah, yeah. Now my weapons are offline. Yes, I might have just struck them. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that go. Nice bit of a hole heal there. So, so these ships, to be fair, aren't that bad. If you've got good equipment, I do recommend setting it up to um, basically be a tank. If you can tank in this thing and send support to obviously the rest of your team that you're with, with your science and your DPS people, um, it would help a lot. You don't have to heal yourself too much because obviously if you've got a good team, you'll have a healer in the team. But um, obviously survivability in a ship like this with such a slow turn rate is kind of what you need. You don't want to go straight into a battle and instantly lose just because someone's got so much DPS it is just stupid. Wow, this is actually quite a bloodbath right here. 
I noticed that you've got your hangers not on attack mode. Uh, they're just attacking all of my little hangers here. Yeah, I don't understand why. I do have it on attack mode, but they're not uh, attacking like they're supposed to. That's unusual because I know I can see most of mine are attacking you, attacking you. Yeah, which is still extremely can annoying. See the damage taken. Is there what? I can see the difference in the damage taken. Yeah. Oh, you got me. Hazard emitters. Ah, oh, you got me. You got me proper there. Nicely done. Thank you. Chuck a few heals on there. I I I will survive this. <laughs> Unfortunately, my my shields are going down and my reverse shield polarity isn't uh, available right now. Then I will shut down your shields properly, man. Oh, oh, I got them. I got them. <laughs> That's pretty good. I've noticed um, with your playstyle, you like to play from a distance, whereas I like to do this. To have a look at where my ship is. That's basically where I'll attack you from. Pretty yeah. much most of the time. Oh, just watch that. And you were, we're at 8% versus 98%. Got a little bit of a heal there. 8, 7, 6, 2, 1, 1. Oh. Man. You can clearly see the difference in my uh, 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 my uh, equipment between yours. Yours is a little higher, and uh, but uh, overall, it was a, it's a, it does uh, go pretty close until all my shield basins go down. Yep. It, basically, um, if we have a look at the damage and um, healing just before we finish this uh, review on the ship, the damage is quite good depending on which weapons you have. Now, I've noticed that you've done more damage than I have, but I have a hell of a lot more healing than you do. Yeah, but, uh... So, basically... Right now, sorry. To, to the people that are watching, I basically say that definitely get... Try and balance your healing and damage within this ship. If you have too much damage and not enough healing, you're going to vaporize. If you have too much healing and not enough damage, you're not going to do anything to any other ship. Anything that you want to say before we finish? Um, try out different power levels. That's a must. Right now, I didn't realize I had such a huge shield bonus. So I'm running 110 shield power, but still going uh, 98 uh, weapons power. So I'm going to try this and see how it goes. So for all you watching there, make sure you're looking at your weapon powers and see, basically, Try and balance them out. Don't go too far on one and not enough on the other because you will just get vaporized. Um, this was Smith Deck and Captain Boom doing a review on the brand new cruiser that's just come out for season eight. Season eight will be premiering in uh, December sometime, which will be great for everyone to have a look at with the uh, sphere of influence. I believe it's the Dyson sphere that they're using in this um, and yeah so check us out on all of the relevant places I'm um, at you I'm I'm youtube.com forward slash smithox9701 and captain boom is youtube.com forward slash captain boom this is Wolverine's fleet smith deck and captain boom signing out <laughs>